the Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And not too bad of a Monday, other than we did have the wind around, but that also drove out the humidity and drier air began to move in. But we also have some cooler air that will start to move in as we go into tonight and into the daytime on Tuesday. All right, let's look at our local three radar network. We do continue with some rain showers and storms south of the bridge in northeast lower Michigan from Alpena to Oscoda over towards Taos. And then we see those rain showers and thunderstorms moving out to the east out over Lake Huron. We still have a few remaining showers, though, across the eastern UP, western Mackinac County around Curtis over to Blaney Park in Schoolcraft County, then a few remaining rain showers near Drummond Island. All right, let's look at our local three future cast here. We can see as we head through the night, a few lingering rain showers may happen, in, may happen, but otherwise we're looking at dry conditions for the rest of the night. We'll go partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, but by tomorrow afternoon, we'll put this into motion here. You can see all the clouds move out, and I think we do have sunshine move in for Tuesday afternoon, and we'll have dry conditions, sunshine, sunshine turns into clear skies as we go into Tuesday night on into the daytime on Wednesday and get used to this type of a local three future cast because we're going to have this for the next couple of days at least into the end of this week. So here's what's ahead. It is going to turn cooler as we go through tonight along with some gusty winds and I think this dry weather is going to at least continue through at least Friday and maybe into the weekend. The gusty winds though tonight I think linger into tomorrow but they'll be out of the north northwest and that's going to cause dangerous swim conditions including rip currents on Lake Superior from Harvey or Marquette eastward into Elger County over towards Christmas and over towards Munising and that includes rip currents so please avoid swimming along Lake Superior tomorrow afternoon east of Marquette. Here's your fishing on shop marine forecast small craft advisories tonight west of Marquette and they go into effect tonight into tomorrow east of Marquette and then along Lake Michigan we're looking at the winds and waves beginning to calm down and then for Tuesday this is what you're dealing with on Lake Superior East of Marquette, we're looking at potentially waves three to five feet. And there's your small craft conditions, Marquette, Munising, and also Grand Marais. Forecast for tonight, we're looking at a few showers. Otherwise, we'll have partly cloudy to mostly cl mostly cloudy skies, along with some wind. Lows tonight around 50 or into the 50s. Next seven days look like this. A cooler type of Tuesday. Highs around 70 or into the 70s. Cooler though near Lake Superior, east of Marquette with some wind. And then a very cool morning on Wednesday for inland areas. Some spots could drop to around 40 and then turning warmer as we go into Thursday and also Friday with highs back into the 80s. And then as you can see, dry weather at least continues into the weekend. Rain chances right now are small to the point where I didn't even include them. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website at up.